In this video for the section 7.4 activity, we're going to talk about the question, how many ways are there to make a burger? So in 2009, Wendy's had a takeout bag which said that they figured that there are 256 ways to personalize a Wendy's hamburger. Luckily, someone was paying attention in math class. So our question that we want to ask is, um, how are they getting that 256 number, and is that the correct number of ways to personalize a Wendy's hamburger? So the first thing that we're going to think about in answering the question is, does the order of the toppings matter? For example, is ketchup then mustard the same as mustard then ketchup? So most of us would probably say that no, the order does not matter because um, it's going to taste the same regardless of which topping was put on the burger first. So it will taste the same regardless of whether ketchup or mustard was put on the burger first. So with that settled, um, we know that there are nine topping options for hamburgers. There are cheese, mayonnaise, ketchup, pickles, onion, bacon, tomato, lettuce, and mustard. So first we're going to think about how many ways you could order a hamburger with three toppings if the order of the toppings does matter. Assuming that the three toppings must be different. So exam for example, I can't do double cheese or double ketchup. Um, I can only do one of each topping. So if we assume that, then we know that we have nine choices for the first topping. And then we have eight choices for the second topping. And then we have seven choices for the third topping because each time we are removing one choice um, because we've already used that as one of our toppings. So if we multiply 9 times 8 times 7, we would get a total of 504 choices. Now for question 3, it says choose your three favorite toppings and list all possible ways that they can be put in order below. How many possible ways can you put the toppings in order? So let's use the last three toppings here, tomato, lettuce, and mustard. You can choose whatever uh, three toppings you like. Um, I'm going to abbreviate these T, L, and M uh, just to make it easier on myself in terms of typing. So I know that one possible way uh, is to put the tomato first and then the lettuce and then the mustard. Um, I could put the tomato first and then mustard and then lettuce, so switching around those last two. Um, and those are the only two possible ways to put the tomato first. Either the lettuce or the mustard has to come next, and then that only leaves one possibility for the third topic. If I start with lettuce, then I can go lettuce, mustard, tomato, or I can go lettuce, tomato, mustard. And if I start with mustard, I can do the mustard first, and then the tomato, and then the lettuce, or do the mustard first, and then the lettuce, and then the tomato. So if you try to come up with another combination, you're not going to be able to come up with anything that we don't already have. Those are all of the possibilities. So there are six um, possible ways to put the toppings in order. So looking at question four, how many ways can you order a hamburger with three toppings if the order of toppings does not matter? All of the ways that we found for number three could be considered one way if the order doesn't matter. So what we found in number uh, two here is that there are 504 total ways of putting three toppings, um, choosing three toppings and putting them in order. But each combination of three toppings has six possible orders. So these are six possible orders, all of the same three toppings. So in our group of 504, we're going to have groups of six 
that are essentially exactly the same three toppings. And so this is really just one order, adding tomato, letter, lettuce, and mustard to the sandwich. So what I need to do is take my 504 total choices from question two, That contains groups of six ways of ordering the same three topics. So we want to know how many of those groups of six are in 504. Or in other words, what is 504 divided by six? And if you divide that, you would get 84 weights.